Hi. To get the best quality out of this video, make sure you check the settings on your device. The bigger the screen, the better experience you will have. Be sure to drop into the Visitor Information Centre as you can pick up maps and advice from the friendly staff. Toilets are also better in there, clean rather than having to use the outside public toilets. Before you begin driving, it's always a good idea to make sure you fill up your vehicle with fuel. Mobile phone coverage is hit and miss. You will get phone coverage at the top of the pinnacle lookout and parts of the walk but do not rely on it. Take note of the emergency markers as you walk for reference in case needed by you or if you come across an injured person that needs help, as this will save time for the rescue crew to get there and which direction to come from. If you have a UHF radio, Channel 5 and Channel 35 are the emergency channels that are listened to by state governments, etc. However, if not successful, then you should try all other channels. Those mountains above are where the pinnacle lookout is and overlooks Hall's Gap, where this township is right here. The Silverband waterfalls are easily accessible as it is mostly flat to walk there from the nearby car park. It is important to know, if you are limited to things to see and do here at Hall's Gap, this should not be on the top of the list. The Mackenzie Falls is the best to see. During summer, hot weather when I've visited in the past, it's dry and no water flowing at the Silverband. Wet weather during winter is when you are guaranteed to see water flowing from the Silverband Falls, just like in this video. The Belfield Reservoir is the first thing you see when you're at the top of the Pinnacle Lookout or from the other popular lookout locations.
Those mountains above are where the Pinnacle Lookout is and overlooks Hall's Gap where this township is right here. The easiest way to the Pinnacle by foot is from the Sundial car park and not the Wonderland car park. Even though the distance is the same, 2.1 kilometre each way, this way by foot is not as steep. Sundial car park is the easiest and the best route to use if young children are part of your walking group. The walk will take a little over two hours for the return trip, allowing time for a rest at the top. It does include some water crossings and rock hopping, so good sturdy shoes are essential in all weather. However, you do miss out on not going from Wonderland Car Park, is slightly more challenging, and ascends via the impressive Grampians version of the Grand Canyon with its unique Australian rock formations. The walk continues through the silent street before rising up to the pinnacle. Here is some walking video footage to give you more insight into the terrain and what to expect. The popular pinnacle lookout is right there, so close yet so far to get there by foot.
You see there, the top is where we are heading. I have not mentioned it until now. You see those yellow triangle markers? These are spaced so that you can see them, line of sight, so you don't lose your way. However, I did it myself as well as other walkers that I spoke to on the way, where I lost concentration and quickly realised I had lost direction. So keep your eyes on those markers. They have been replaced as the old painted markers had gradually weathered away. Earlier the sign said 600 metres to the pinnacle, coming from this direction and not knowing how much further it was to the lookout, the first thing you see is another sign. Thinking at first it may be to say how much further there is left to go, it became very clear after a few more steps, seeing the metal railings of the pinnacle lookout came into view, that I made it and here it was. The Belfield Reservoir is the first thing you see when you're at the top of the Pinnacle Lookout or from the other popular lookout locations.
Here it is again, showing you as you look down at the reservoir, looking back from the reservoir. Mackenzie Waterfalls is one of the most popular locations visited and is very busy during the warmer months of the year as many bathers here. I have filmed walking down and up the many steps to try to give you a better idea of the fitness needed. There are many steps and in hotter weather is more exhausting.
Well, that about wraps it up for this video. The purpose of this video was to highlight a few main attractions of Halls Gap. This will also assist with making the decisions of when or if you want to visit, such as in warmer or winter months. And if you, your friends or your family are physically fit enough to be able to enjoy the experience, video footage was filmed using a Canon D200 Mark II DSLR camera. Feel free to comment or question below. Thanks for watching.